Okay, Zayden Custer coming out against Kevin Contos, 152 pounds, semifinal here at Perrysburg Invitational Tournament. Kessler, Contos, Kessler headed, Contos heading to Brown, Brown Bears, Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, that would imply that he's very smart. And he is a sixth as a freshman for Clay and a champ last year and for Genoa as they had a historic run with almost half the champs. Match is brought to you by Defense Open. That's a Barbarian Apparel singlet on the back of Zayden Kessler of Wauseon. My man Josh here today slinging some gear. Barbarian Apparel conquered the impossible and Defense Soap, Defense Soap, Defend what you built. I might pander to the official sitting in me next, next to me. He needs some Defense Soap. I might have to get him some. I got a bar for you. I'm also implying you might not smell good. I'm just kidding. I'll just get you some soap, all right? So Contos, defending state champion, Division Three, Ohio. He is your one seed here. And he's taking on Zayden Kessler, Wauseon. Defending champion as well is Contos for Genoa. Genoa had six state champions. As I said, that he runs to a single leg, low single. Now cuts across double. Castle in some trouble here. Now elevating his leg, maybe looking for near fall. Splits the middle, <laughs> comes out on top. Some of the stuff Contos does, you really can't teach. Got some wild, crazy hips. Got the cross arm now. Probably looking tilt here. Gonna pick that up. Oh man. The last three guys on top have been punishing. Matt DeWitt of Oak Harbor, Dusty Morgillo of Genoa, and now Kevin Contos of Genoa. Punishing. Must be an Ottawa County thing. They go full Mitch Clark, take top. I mean, I'm talking, listen, there's law enforcement in here, and he's got a cradle. Short time, 12 seconds left. Rocks it back. Could be looking for a fall for Contos. And great fight underneath by Zayden Kessler of Wauseon. you love to see the fight, and he wrangles him down. He could be looking for it. Kessler's going to survive the fear. But had there been law enforcement here, the last three matches on the edge of the mat, they would have arrested Matt DeWitts, Dusty Morgillo, and now Contos on top. Felonies, folks. Felonies. There he is. I like that. I like that. Now look at the rubber knee. Look at the rubber knee. Look at the rubber knee. And Durr wants him to keep his knee. Even though he intentionally does that, he's got a rubber knee. No kidding. A lot of these guys put themselves in that position because they're so flexible. It only takes one funky time. One guy who holds on a little differently than everybody else and your knee pops. And then when you're old, you're 40, you can't walk. 140 remains. Second period, 6-0 lead contest of Genoa. He's in the green ankle band. Defending state champ in Division Three in Ohio. Nice hard hands there by Contos. And I don't know if he was trying to step across to throw him or what Kessler was doing there. Now low single left-handed. Looking to cut across is Contos. Kessler tries to roll. Nothing yet. Both legs. Got to work up the body. It's just so different when you watch college compared to high school because a lot of these things are takedowns in college. They are not takedowns in college high school and it drives me bananas oh he catches him oh could be looking for a fall there it is Contos caught him he was buried but I mean we're human we can't get to a position we can't can't see it and there it is the fall Woo. Contos picks up a fall holy smokes that guy can roll he's an Ivy Leaguer too he's smart so Contos with the wind 